I will tell you a story and I don't really tell this story that much anymore but when I was a uh, 14, 15, 16, kind of around that period, I used to meditate in my school bathrooms alone pretty much every single lunch. And the reason I meditated was because I was in that awkward phase of getting three, four hours of sleep every single night. And I had to basically manage both school as well as starting my first entrepreneurial venture at that time. I'd had a, you know, a few ventures. I was flipping Instagram accounts and then I started uh, personal training my friend's parents and I started picking up a, a video camera and, and learning how to make videos and photos for companies and doing that freelance. So I was getting like three, four hours sleep a night. So school, that sort of lunch period was the best time that I could meditate without falling asleep. And to be honest, I think that was really the excuse I gave to myself. That was the logical explanation. You know, pretty much like everything in life, same reason why people buy. People buy with emotion and then justify with logic. I feel like, you know, that was my logical justification for why I did it. I think the more emotional justification was I just didn't really want to be around anyone. And I think that's what I want to talk about in today's video because if you're watching this and you're kind of at that weird purgatory where you know you want to be successful, but you're not successful yet. And you're in this weird stage where you, like, you know what your life is going to be. It's just reality hasn't caught up yet. And that was really my entire life. My entire life was, I know that this is going to happen. Life just hasn't caught up to that intention yet. And I think a big struggle being in that place is the social aspect of it. And the reason I bring up that meditation story is because I think for me, I just want to be alone because, and I don't know if you guys are currently experiencing any of this. I was getting a lot of the, oh, you think you're better than us sort of accusations because I was in school and I was trying to build my business and I built, you know, I really can't call it a business. I made $10,000 uh, flipping Instagram accounts and, you know, I was making a few hundred dollars a month, maybe sometimes a thousand dollars a month doing like spare services. As I said, you know, shoot a uh, photo video for different uh, uh, companies, uh, just doing freelance content creation, uh, personal training my friend's parents uh, and convincing them that uh, as a 15 year old, I was, I was the, you know, adequate personal trainer. And for me socially, it was just very difficult. And I guess I wanted to bring up this story. First of all, to say two things. First things first is that it's okay. You're going to experience that. And just understand that there may be one, two, three, four, five years where you're just kind of like lonely. And then all of a sudden it changes. And it actually changed for me one day after I finished up meditating, I come out and I had this uh, water ball at the time. And it had like a YouTube sticker on it. And this is just as I had gotten into high school, you know, I managed to make it seven months into high school and then I dropped out of school. Obviously at that point, for some of you guys that know the story, my business took off. I was making $15,000 a month uh, at the point in which I dropped out of high school with my uh, social media marketing agency, which at the time, by the way, I didn't, it wasn't like, this is back in 2017. It wasn't really like SMMA, it was, it was just like, oh, I have these businesses that want these services and they're willing to commit to a fixed term. And as I'm finishing up with one of these meditation sessions, I've got like my uh, a water ball right there. And there was a, a new kid that had joined the high school just a, a couple weeks prior. And he was like, oh, you do YouTube. And that kid is my best friend to this day. And he was the first person to, except for my mom, obviously, to really make me think that wow what you're doing is cool like even when I had no success or I was still at that time I was still trying to work my way through things and I was still trying to you know really build something tangible like something sizable and he was really the first person to validate that hey what you say you're gonna do I believe you're gonna do it and I believe that it's just a matter of time I think sometimes all it takes in life is just one person like all it takes is just one person to be like yo I see the vision and I'm, I'm with you on this. And all that to say that for you, 
it might take a few months, it might take a year, two years, three years for you to find that person, number one, and number two, for your reality to catch up to all the things that you're saying. Because if you're anything like I was, you know, you're probably writing this shit down every single day. You're writing down exactly what you want to do in life. Maybe you're even telling your parents. And maybe as much as they love you, it's kind of hard for them to wrap their heads around your vision and what you want to do in life. Because also bear in mind, they come from a very different time. So that doesn't mean that they don't believe in you. That doesn't mean that they don't want to see you win. A lot of times, it's just they come from a different environment. So the way that they know success does not apply to you. And by the way, it's going to be quite funny for you to grow up and have your own kids and realize that the way that you knew it to be, probably in 10, 20, 30 years time, whenever you end up having kids, that probably won't be the best way to succeed then. So times are always changing. And it can be hard sometimes when you, know, you uh, tell the people around you and, and maybe they don't see it. So I think that making your first $1,000, making your first $10,000, I don't know if that's the most complicated thing in the world with it today's day and age. You know, even for me, when I started my first entrepreneurial venture 10 years ago, it was very different. There was a lot of roadblocks, even things like getting payment processing. You know, as a 16, 17 year old kid, getting payment processing back then AKA a way to actually charge clients, a way to bill clients outside of just regular wire transfer. It was a lot more complicated back then than it is uh, these days. You know, these days there's a lot more payment processes, there's a lot more, these days it's a lot more accommodating to kids who have a dream, teenagers who have a dream, basically anyone who has a dream and wants to make something work online. It's very accommodating even to how it was 10 years ago and I don't even wanna know what it's gonna be like in 10 years. And that's why it's so funny. I made my first million dollars at 18 and that was like, back in 2018, that was kind of a big deal. Fuck man, I see kids these days, you know, 15 year old millionaire, this, that. So at some point, one of these kids is gonna start making their first million in the womb. It's, it's crazy. It's uh, the world we live in is just, there's so much opportunity out there. So all that to say that I don't know if it's necessarily the most complicated thing or the most difficult thing to wrap your head around how to actually make your first thousand dollars online or even your first ten thousand dollars online i'd say the most difficult aspect of it is getting to that really shit and frustrating phase where you know what you can do but it just hasn't come into fruition yet and the thing that makes it quite difficult a lot of times is the social aspect of it the thing that makes it quite difficult a lot of times is the fact that as i said you're writing this down every single day Maybe you're telling your friends, maybe your friends don't see it. Maybe you're telling your parents and your parents don't quite see where you're trying to get to, where they can't wrap their head around it. And I just want to implore you to keep pushing, like just disregard it. You know, I always say, just put one foot forward in front of the other, put your head down, focus on the pavement, focus on the road, one foot forward in front of the other, just left, right, left, right. And you do that for years. And then you look back and you're like, fuck. You know, I can't believe how far I've come. I get that a lot. A lot of times people go, can you believe where you've ended up in life? And I go, 100%. How the fuck can I not believe where I ended up in life when I took the steps? I followed my own advice. I went left, right, left, right. I've taken thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, singular steps. I can remember every single fucking step I took. And what, you're surprised, or you're surprised that I'm not surprised of where I got to? And that's, you know, that's the real name of the game here. Especially when you're first starting. You're just putting one foot forward in front of the other. And don't worry about your progress. I see so many people, they get so worked up. Oh, it's been a month, it's been six months, it's been, uh, nine months and I haven't gone my first win with my online business or you know my first online uh, uh, venture Don't focus on that. I told you put your head down for years because I've seen many 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 examples where someone Has no success for 18 months 
and then a month later they're making ten thousand dollars a month i i mean shit i even had a similar situation i from the point in which i signed my first social media marketing client in summer of 2016 it was seven months it was 200 plus days something like that until i signed my second client but i didn't give a shit i was just putting one foot forward in front of the other and that's what you need to do as well so all that to say you know i didn't really have time to script out anything or put my thoughts onto paper or write some bullet points you know today in the shower i guess i was just uh, reflecting as i do quite often on on the journey and you know how we've gotten here and i was thinking about those times in school where i was like why 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 did i hide away a lot and as i said for me i think it was just socially it was easier just to hide away because i it was one of those like damned if you do damned if you don't i didn't want to hang out and talk to people who just wanted to talk about video games and mindless pointless shit and then if i didn't hang out with them then apparently um thought that i was better than them or you know i was a, a cockier up myself so i was in a situation where i was damned if i do did damned if i didn't and you know that reflection kind of spurred me on to make this video and just remind you that I guess uh, it's gonna suck for a while and that's fine and really to remind you that I don't think it's really complicated to make your first thousand dollars online there's so many ways to do it these days but the social aspect and the mental torment of knowing where you want to get to and even verbalizing it and having it not manifest into reality, that's the thing that you're gonna really need to be on top of things with. And with that being said, as always, I'm watching you from afar and I'm rooting for you.